So yeah, basically what we're gonna do, guys, if for anyone who missed it earlier, is we're gonna make a trailer park on the other side of town. And for anybody whose sub runs out, um, rather than just like delete the characters or anything like that, we're gonna move them into the trailer park and have them like fall on harder times. <laughs> so they'll not get like proper play, but they'll still be around. I feel like that's the most fair balanced way to do it because then the actual subs have more space and time in their houses. So I think that's how we're gonna do it. Plus it's really neat. And the, the new packs and stuff make it, whoa. Everybody just like popped black umbrellas immediately, which is kind of creepy. Simon's home now, look in his pink shirt. Can you? Okay, good job. Good job, Tyler. We need to buy Tyler some stuff. Did we make him a basement? We did, didn't we? Do do it! Oh my gosh, that which is reason for it. Panda gifted. I'm gonna be the person in the trailer park. Panda has saved you from trailer park. Keep up with your sub scrub. We need. This is gonna be weird, right? I'm gonna make Tyler's stuff the pinkest stuff ever. So this is Simon's coffin. So let's give, um... <laughs> thank you very much for the bits and thank you very much for the gifted sub, Panda, you're the best. Right, we need to take, is it, hang on, hang on, right, first, it paused. So first we're gonna go see if we can get Tyler some stuff. Cat! Speaking of, Kitty, do you have notifications for when you receive donations? I should do, yeah. You should have notifications for everything. Yeah, right. Will Tyler mind if we make all this shit pink? Hot pink? Panda! I can't believe that 45 heart missed. Just completely missed the entire cup. <laughs> should have just like bombed them all out. Are you drunk, Panda? Have you been drinking? And this one is very late. It just bounced straight out. <laughs> that stuff is pink already. That's awesome. Okay, let me just check. Let me just check. Uh, uh, uh. Where is my Streamlabs dashboard? <laughs> that one literally just it just bounced right back out. Okay, so. Widgets have moved, okay. <laughs> Where's alerts? Are they in widgets? Alert box. There you go. That was a test one. I think yes so it should work it should be working just gotta keep gotta keep the mods and sub <laughs> for panda <laughs> such responsibilities panda right what are we gonna get him the barbarian bed what is the barbarian bed oh this is this is good this is good What's best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to sleep on top of them. This is like a, a like a fur bed for animals, but we're gonna have it in freaking rainbow pink. This is delicious, you guys. This is delicious. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> the barbarian's bed. We need to make our make our room a bit bigger. Like a smidge. Oh, make a smidge bigger. Go. Thanks. Now, you can go over here. And you can go here. Tyler is just gonna have the best of the best. Okay, so he's got a big bed. He's got a food bowl. He doesn't need a little tray or anything. The cats and poop and oh my god no we just need that we get him up we'll get him some toys okay and we'll get him this woof box 
There's lots of mailbox. Come here. Huh! Give me one of these in pink. One of these has gotta be pink. There we go, this one will have to be. Oh, that's so pink. Okay. Okay. Move. Move this over. Beautiful. Can we put these balls in it? Nope. No, we cannot. Where's your food bowl going? Ta-da. Beautiful. <laughs> vampire. Vampire. Heaven. Emmy Dragon. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, it looks perfect with the coffin. I know, right? I have to wait for work, but I'm still lurking, and so no one do anything shitty. I'm watching you, especially you, Simon. <laughs> Someone has skinned and killed a Care Bear. <laughs> well, I just sent you the money for the Sims X pack, and I didn't do shit. What? Hang on. Hang on. That's not right. I swear I just did that no time ago too. Hang on, let me check. Let me check. Just open this up. I also totally screenshotted uh, Lucas and Panda, by the way. What was that? Oh my god, Bane. You just bombed all those things out of there. This girl has a job now. Oh, congratulations! Congratulations. What job did you get? Let me check. Let me check my thingy. Because that's ridiculous. If Streamlabs is messing me around again, I'm gonna be so annoyed. <laughs> Moving all my screens around is one thing. Messing up my alerts is another entirely. Part time, but it's nice working at the dollar store. Oh man, literally if I worked at the dollar store, I would just bring it all home every day. It would be bad. Kat, did you know you've donated over a hundred pounds worth of bits to this stream? Kat. Whoa. Kudos, cat. I appreciate the support. Oh, it did. It went it went through, Beth. It went through. It, the alert just didn't pop up. For some reason. So I will fix that. Thank you very much, bathroom, <laughs> for the donation. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get a freaking trailer park. Uh, okay, this is Tyler's room. I think it's beautiful. I think it matches the aesthetic of this delicious coffin nicely. Um, so you're alerted to the cash monies. I know, I'm gonna have to check that because that is just... That's whack. Trailer park for trailer trash. <laughs> it's cold. Oh no. Uh, where, where are you at, Emmy? I've forgotten. I'm so bad at this. What is that one? Sugar. Which is apt. Which means now I've got a job. It means I can donate to whomever I wish. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, yeah, for disposable income. I, I know, right? You know, right? Someone left their free. Who did this? Joe the Anxious Mess, right? Joe the Anxious Mess made mac and cheese and then just moved the fuck out rather than clean up her dishes. I am now the boss. I've got some the job. <laughs> uh, Cleveland, Ohio. I think we have someone else from Cleveland as well, to be honest. I think we might have two from Cleveland. Anyway, our freaking weird gnome. I don't know why this gnome won't go away. But listen. Listen. Can we do the store from here? Can we do store from here? Maybe I have to do it in origin. You are indeed the stream boss, Kat. Welcome back to being the stream boss. Browse games. Oh no. Do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? <laughs> That's a small madam. That is a small madam. Thump, 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 thump. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> oh, she's going to the toilet. Shh. We're dead, we're not here. <laughs> There away. Go to bed. She's going to the bathroom. She's gotta be so quiet. Oh, no. 
Oh my word, you guys. Anyway, here we are. Forgot what we were doing. Let me catch up on chat. Fast move job. Dum 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 dum. Um. Was there still was a crying at the end? There was. She decided she wanted medicine. And she wanted to sleep in my bed, so we had to go sort that all out because as soon as I got the medicine, medicine, she decided she didn't want the medicine. Etc. 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 You know, typical three-year-old stuff. But shorted now, hopefully. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna save and quit. We're gonna get our game. We're gonna come back. We're gonna get a trailer park. Yeah. 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 Nobody's nobody's gonna be getting too much sleep in this house tonight. Oh my god, I can buy things. Yes, nice. Do you know what? Honestly, that the independence of like getting a job, getting your first job, getting a job when you haven't had one for a while is just <sighs> glorious. Just glorious. Good evening, Roshin. How are you doing? Okay, let me just grab this. Super, super quick. Okay. Browse games. Can we just thank the bathroom again for very kindly getting this for us? Thanks, Bath. <laughs> we can also simultaneously blame Bathroom when any sim gets relegated to the trailer park. Because <laughs> she afforded it being able to happen. Can someone tell me? What the heck is the deal with Strangerville? Download with Origin. Let's hope this is quick, friends. Eight minutes. We can just we can do just chatting for eight minutes. I am the shitty shitty landlord of the trailer park. <laughs> I like it. Could work. We could work with it. <laughs> Simon won't get relegated. Should we let? Hmm. We'll see. We'll see if there's any good trailer parks on the thing. Is this the trailer? Because I watched the trailer. I just still don't understand. Is it aliens? Is it zombies? What the heck is going on? The trailer only makes more questions. Make Joe build it. <laughs> can you cram this huge lot with as many trailers, as shitty trailers as you can? What now? Hawa? What is this link? Is this link the trailer? Huh. Ah? What? What does that say, Anaya? What? No! What? <laughs> <laughs> right? I thought you linked it to trailer to Stranger Bill. <laughs> right, okay. But yeah. So, I need to work out what the heck was on in the new one and what we can do with it. Should we turn all the trailer park guys into zombies? Who knows? <laughs> no, you can Google it yourself. <laughs> you just bring the vines. Three minutes. Okay, so we're gonna make Jojo make the trailer park. So we're not gonna have the trailer park in this one. We'll have that next week, maybe. Maybe. If Joe has that much time on her hands between now and next week. Oh my god, I'm addicted to these, these powerful, powerful jelly babies. Jelly babies, jelly beans. Oh no! Hang on. Too many symbols, atrocious. What the heck did you do? What does that even mean, unban? What does that even mean? Oh, that was meant for the age, not for chat. What are you looking for? What are you looking for, Roisin? Pro just did some weirdness. I don't even know what it was. <laughs> Two minutes. 
Please release me. Let me go. <laughs> oh my goodness, right. Okay. And then we're gonna go. I'm gonna go to Murder House. And we might see if we can play on a little bit, depending on whether or not my children actually stay in bed. We'll, we'll, we'll maybe go past our 10 p.m. time today a smidge to make up for the disruptions this evening. The many disruptions this evening. Second speed to trigger my spirit of harmony, living steel, ghost iron door, cap right door, shopping search. Oh, nice. That one was super useful, Roisin. Thank you for sharing it. A celebration brought them together. Please release me. Let me go. Oh, I don't love you anymore. Oh man, I love it. I love it. My poor little baby Lucy dog, she's sick and vomiting, but she's hungry and wants food and she can't. Oh no, poor doggy. And my babies are sick this week too, Roisin, so I feel the pain. A vicious cycle. <laughs> that song though. <laughs> right, where are we at? Where are we at? One minute, 30 seconds. True vicious psych, I know. God, I hope they don't mind you are coming out of it now. It would be nice. It'd be nice. She keeps coming to push her nose against my leg like puppies do. Their mom is basically saying, Take care of me. Make it better. Make it stop. But I know if I give her just a bit, she'll vomit she'll vomit again, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. For Duggo. Poor Duggo. One minute. Is there any reference in Strangerville to the Spectres? Like from, which one were they in? Were they in like Sims 2? I wanna say Sims 2. I saw a meme. I saw a meme on, on Twitter the other day and it was like, <laughs> it was the original Sims 1 neighborhood. And I was like, if you can name all the families that live in these houses, you've been here a long time. And I was like, yeah, every single one. Can name every single one. <laughs> I came home from shopping and my flat was full of dog vomit. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> she literally got sick while I went shopping. Bless. Poor doggo. That sucks. Every household in Pleasant View is iconic. I know, right? There's the Goths, the Pleasants, the Newbies, the Roommates. The Roomies, were the Roomies? Was that what they were called? Roomies? Betty and Bob got Betty and Bob uh, Newbie were just bae. The Roomies. Obviously my first instinct is always with her since she'd almost died twice, I was ready to take her straight to the vet hospital. I can bet that one canteen woman. Wasn't it both of them? Was it both of them or wasn't it both of them back then? Maybe I don't remember this as well as I thought. Do you remember their like triangular hands? Ridiculous, so good. Okay, we can go, let's play. That one counting woman. You sound so offended, Simon. Like personally offended. What did she do to you? Nina and Dina. I were two. That's what I thought. I thought there'd always been two of them. And they like didn't like Bella Goth for some reason. My vet once said, look, we appreciate the, the revenue, but it's really not necessary for you to bring Lucy in every time she vomits or has diarrhea. Listen, you can't be too safe. They lived between Don Lothario and the Brooks. That was Sims 2. 
The Brokes were my favourite family in Sims 2. I loved them to bits. I wanted to kiss Dawn, but Dawn was kissing both of them. Why did you want to kiss Dawn though? Dawn was a sleaze. He was a maximum sleaze. I didn't like Belagoth because Donathari was marrying her and they both loved him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Sims 1, sorry, I'm not 40. <laughs> Touché. <laughs> Touché. The Brokes were so good though, I loved them to pieces. I had zero standards. <laughs> so three. Oh wait, no, Donathari was marrying Cassandra Goth. He murdered Belagoth, he moved on to Cassandra Goth. And but the Calentines wanted in on that. It was a whole thing. Mods! Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna read this because I have no idea what's going on in this guy. So listen up. Listen up. The who kitty? The who? Why, what did I say? I don't want to say it again now in case I do it again. <laughs> you guys have me like paranoid. <laughs> Calentines! Is that not what they're called? <laughs> Counting? Plenty? I don't know. Are we moving Murder House to Strangerville? We are not, but we are bringing strangeness to Murder House, maybe. Welcome to Strangerville, a seemingly normal world shrouded in secrecy. Watch the world change before you as you dig deeper and deeper into the mystery, unraveling its secrets to the world. Fall in love with its charm. Roger that. Join the all-new military career where your sim can become a Grand Marshal. Oh my god, Grand Marshal. Caliente? 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 I'm never gonna remember that in a million years. It means hot in Spanish, you reprobate. <laughs> oh, I am a dollar and fifty cents short to get Strangerville. Oh no, Emmy! Oh my god, that's the worst. Which I have, but it's in cash. Oh my god. Uh, right, okay, so you can become a Grand Marshal, or you can maybe take the path of Covert Operator to keep tabs on the suspicious, or maybe not that suspicious, wink, Sims in the world. Is that promoting stalking? Do they just say you can stalk anyone you want? Leave no stone unturned. With the new Strangerville mystery aspiration, your Sims will be in, the in head first into investigation. Can your Sims uncover what's truly behind what's plaguing the town? secret lab locals say ever since the secret lab got built the town has been acting weird but the only way to find out is to investigate travelers traverse the lowest levels of the secret lab and see what hides beneath the curtain okay all right then let's go back to where we were <laughs> can't wait to play this back it looks so good this really makes me laugh what am i what is <laughs> Do you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of like PlayStation 1 Hagrid because his head is like all squished into his body and he just has that like flat expression. You know, he's just, he's mood most days, frankly. We are going to put in this big lot down here, a trailer park. We're going to put a trailer park there. And if any of our sub sims subs run out, we are going to evict them to the trailer park. It's going to be glorious. And now we can make it suitably freaking grungy. But for now, right, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna see if Elliot is devastated about his dead cougar. And um, we're gonna see if Simon is just insane on his weird random quest for sexual adventures or something. <laughs> that is a thousand percent haggard in a hazmat suit. <laughs> hazmat grid. <laughs> yes, that one. That one exactly. We're on the same wavelength. Doesn't it though? I just, I don't know why, but the two remind me of the same thing. <laughs> to me, they say the same thing. Anyway, here we are with all of our freaking umbrellas. I don't know why Simon is glowing, but I, you know what? I don't want to ask why Simon is glowing. Let's go, where's Elliot? Pause, okay. Elliot is fine, which strikes me as weird because <laughs> his bay is dead. Who's that? Tess, okay. Look, if we go in here, and we go dark, look. <laughs> we were in love with her, you guys. 
We were in love with her and she's we were sweethearts. <sighs> Pole. Since Elliot's not here because he's out getting drunk even though he said he was coming back. Listen, here's what we're gonna do. Do we have him move on to someone else? Or do we have him take this loss incredibly hard and do whatever it takes in his l short life to get her back? Necromancy. <laughs> so he could just move on like a normal person or he could take up necromancy like a weirdo. Shavik. Option. always the weirdo option go crazy <laughs> would you give give atrocious gamer back her right to speak <laughs> you can't just spray bottle all of our view this is my this is my blanket by the way if anyone's wondering what that random flash of yellow is my blanket girl's gotta have a blanket i don't know you don't know how to unban people oh my god my mods are a mess <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> Sorry, bathroom. <laughs> uh, you did it, yet you don't want to undo it. I know, right? What if she just like... Listen. <laughs> did you like that song? <laughs> Oh my god, okay, it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna raise the dead. That's what we're gonna do. <coughs> I have no idea how to do that. None at all. Completely not a clue. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, right, Simon is feeling flirty and is talking with she and sh with Shanye, so <laughs> good luck, Shanye, I guess. You're feeling flirty, kiss hand. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, sexy pose. Yeah, come on, Simon. Let's see your sexy pose right here in front of everybody, please. Uh, is that it? Jim Ray. That was it. Uh, that was Simon's sexy pose. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> right. Here's what we're gonna do. Look, Chris is just done with all of your shit. Panda's done. He's like, I'm going inside. I don't know why you nerds are standing outside. I'm going inside. But what we need to do is the. How do you tell? If the festival's still on, like, can you go? Doesn't stay there. If we go to travel, and we're not taking any of these losers, we're just gonna travel by ourselves. My knees are quaking. Are Simon and Sha Shania gonna buy? Well, probably. But we do you have a checklist, Simon? Do you have a checklist for it was in the city, right? For the different kinds of Oh, there's stranger. Is oh no, this is the wrong city. <laughs> wrong city. Um for the how do you know? Is it here? go here no arts quarter I have literally no idea which I think it's this one I don't know why you can't go there water slide wobble old salt house oh no it's the honey pop right okay go there okay fine go to Kyoto bar then walk over the road nice 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 I forgot which ones we've done you did uh, in the closet and you did in the coffin <laughs> remember who did you bang in the was it Caleb you banged in the coffin who was with you that time some was it Chris was Chris, <laughs> Chris just there to steal stuff and he stole a pedestal and then went for a nap in a coffin while you two banged was that it pandas so work so weird okay here we go oh no it's gone. God damn. 
Festivals. Read the sign. Go and see what it says. This looks romantic. Uh, hot springs. No. You don't want to. Okay. Go home, Panda. It's fine. Who's that? Veronica Alanis. No idea. New Year's Eve was awful. Oh, well, you're welcome, guys. Um. <laughs> Is that even the right there? I think that was that was the bar that it was at last time. Oh, here we go. Bed, rocket ship, backyard observatory, tent, hot tub, sauna, closet, bush, anywhere as bats, pile of leaves, coffin, Brindleton Bay's lighthouse, sleeping pod, money vault. All right. Okay. These are some creative ideas. Which one do you want to, where do you want to take Shanye, Simon? Where do you want to take Shanye on your exciting sexual adventure? If you, would you all get inside the house, you weirdos? Oh my god, okay, listen, it's fine. Where's Kat? Kat's sad. Why is she sad? Because she had an awful holiday. Listen, that's not my fault. We literally just logged in. We literally just got here. How are you doing? I'm gonna achieve level four in the writing skill. We can do that. Write a genre book. You wanna write for 15 hours total, write five good books. So let's write a sad book because you're sad about having a terrible New Year's Eve. Listen, Shanye is my friend, right? So I gotta romance him first. So the lighthouse, the romance. Everybody is sad, right? Because they had a terrible holiday except Shanye and um, Simon. Shania and Simon are not sad because he's flirty and glowing and he's happy. So let me see. Oh, wow. He doesn't like you though because you drank his blood, remember? Let's see how good old kiss hands goes. Did you just turn into a... Oh, Simon, stop being weird. How are you going to trap... He just lets you. He's just like, fine. Literally hits you, but also kind of turned on. I feel like that's kind of Shania's aesthetic as well, though. Not gonna lie, I feel like that works for you too. Um, sexy pose, pick up line, ask on a date. What the Let's do this. <laughs> Scarized. Yeah, that's, that's what's going do. on here. I mean, vampires are hot. Yep. Uh, all the stick. All the sickly horses. This is a sad book. Cat, you're writing a sad book about sick horses. Sorry. <laughs> okay, you're going to take him on a date. And it's going to be a date to a lighthouse. <laughs> to bang. A museum. To Grassy Isle. Is this the lighthouse? This is the lighthouse, right? Okay, so I guess you're going to a museum. Those poor horses, I know, right? It's tragic. So who's gonna be our like mystery hunter? You guys? Who's going to hunt mysteries? Dibs on top. <laughs> oh my goodness, right. You guys are gonna get lost trying to find this museum. Do you know why? Because I'm going to get lost trying to find Oh there it is. Can you even go over there? How does this even work? Oh, look, you totally can. Okay, so first, he has to be willing to bang you, though. Which, at the moment, Simon, he's not. <laughs> he's not at all. So let's go. Let's let's see if we can get, get this on. Compliment his appearance. It's a nice blue hair you have. Oh. Simon and Ben, he's a top, I know, right? <laughs> he's gonna give you a number. That's good. I mean, he's he seems to be taking your number. Do you remember when we had a birthday party in here and made a mess of the whole place? <laughs> Did you just kiss your phone, Shanye? Are you serious? Gross. Gross. Goingy? Compare yeah, to long lost love. I feel like that's probably not cool. 
Oh, we're gonna do a first kiss. <coughs> Don't reject him, Shania. He will be crushed forever. I feel like he's probably gonna reject him. Oh no, no, it's all right. He was giving him some serious side eye, just trying to throw him off. We live, we live together, but I'm sure he definitely needs my number. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay. Bold pickup line, because that actually worked, and now you're feeling confident. He's going to do the kisses. Look at this drama queen. Drama queen behavior. All right, guys, calm down. You're at a museum. There might be old people here. You're at a museum at like 3 o'clock in the morning, by the way. So there's that. Um, Go upstairs. Go upstairs. <gasps> yes. Woohoo with Shania. You get fame, apparently. Apparently, woohooing in a lighthouse has fame points attached to it. I love when they text you to hang out and then you exchange numbers. <laughs> Just in case you didn't have my number. Okay, so what happens here? You guys are going to get famous for banging. That's what's going on here. Elliot's going to be famous for buying drinks. <laughs> Bad bathroom's going to be famous for romantic gestures. Simon's going to be famous for banging. Wow, that was quick. Holy crap. What just happened? Give you a massage. That's not happening. What is he doing? What's going on here? Go bang Shania in the freaking lighthouse. Maybe people can see the silhouette. Oh, man. Steamy exchange. They're having a steamy exchange. I'm trying to get this whole thing in the picture. Are they done? I don't think so. I think they're not even both in there. Look at those waves crashing. Isn't You're right. This was romantic. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Look, no, they're down here. Oh, Simon, why would you do that? What is that? Is that a sleeping dog? Um... Why would you turn into a bat for this? <laughs> you literally just bat formed yourself onto the top of the lighthouse. Because fuck stairs, right? Look, poor Shania had to run. He had to run all the way up here. Look at this. Look at these. They're like cheeky teenagers. Oh, look. They're making the light crazy. Do you know what? If a ship crashes because of you guys, just know that's on your conscience. All right? This mentalness is on you. <laughs> got some stamina, though. Does the lighthouse keep around to say about this? Whoa! Okay. Fireworks in the lighthouse, guys, really? Is that the best of choices? You all seem to be. Let's just check it out here. A uh, view from the light. What was this? First woohoo? That's the lie. Awful holiday. Not awful woohoo though. Totally digging me. Oh man. Shanyi totally digs you and you love it. For, well, I guess it was your first woohoo with him then. Does that make sense? T titillating banter. First kiss. Nice. Okay. Oh, Shania, I hope you weren't expecting a relationship because this guy is just <laughs> not here for that. Oh, no, he doesn't even like you. He literally was just here to bang as well. I don't know why you bothered bringing him to this romantic lighthouse. Because, look, he still hits your ass. But he also thinks you're sexy as fuck. Sorry, Shane. <laughs> Honestly, on brand. You just talk about tanks. Why not? Someone's take lighthouse off the list. <laughs> I'm off with the wall. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can we go home now? We're gonna hang out at this lighthouse at four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning. Guys, you were at it for ages. Oh, we're on a date. Um, can we just can we just finish the date early, ending early? Yeah. yeah. Come on now. Bronze medal date. Because you literally just came to bone and then left. You can go home now, though. 
You're watching the sunrise. <laughs> Seriously, Simon. Gotta make him walk. He's gonna walk all the way down the star. <laughs> and you're just already gone. You literally just bat formed home and left him on an island in Brindleton Bay. Fucking smooth sailor you are. Well, I'm done. Bat form. Gone. Ridiculous. Okay, so that is another one of Simon's conquests ticked off his list. Are you marking your list? Are you going to mark the list for us so that we can keep a running tab in the channel? Score off the wardrobe, the lighthouse, the coffin. Shani, I'm sorry. Look, he's already home. Where is he? Where did he go? He's already home, upstairs, playing chess with himself. Okay, where's Tyler, by the way? Trying to make other friends because Simon keeps leaving him alone. Uh, calm down, Tyler. <laughs> Give him a treat. Offer him your friendship as an apology, right? Are you working still? Did you finish that book about sad horses? Resume writing the sad horses book. Where is Shanye now? What are you meant to be doing? Have earned, you want to have earned 5,000 pounds, Shanye, and you have earned six dollars. Uh, well, 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 what's this? <laughs> Yes, your cougar is dead. So, here's the deal. In your absence, we put a poll to the chat and we were like, is Elliot going to move on like a normal person from this loss? Or is he going to dedicate his life to necromancy to raise his dead cougar from the dead? From, from the dead? Guess which chat chose, Elliot. <laughs> Guess what your new life goal is, Elliot. <laughs> At least you did not. You did not. We logged in today and she was just already dead. She's just already dead. I'll prove it to you, look. <laughs> look, there she is. She's a ghost. You were in love with her. You were sweethearts. But she's dead. <laughs> So there's that. I don't know how to bring a sim back from the dead, but I think there is a way. I do not agree with this. It's too late. It's too late for that, fam. If you're watching spooky whatever that is, Luna's dead as well. Man, everybody you know is dying. And Bella. Oh, Bella God's dead. Um, All of Elliot's friends are dead, so there's that. I can find another milf, that's fine. There's plenty of mums and sims. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway. Chris is Chris is sad. Look at this. Sad use of the toilet. That gnome always terrifies me. Why is he sad? He's still not for holiday. Just find me milf 2.0. Listen. No, you're distraught. You're distraught over the loss of your famous milf. Energy. He needs to sleep. Okay. He's gonna sleep. And then he wants to do something dastardly. Be disliked by two sims. You're already disliked by one. Who the heck dislikes him? Yasmin. Alright. So we gotta get someone else to dislike Chris. Never mind you goddamn hat. My hat is gone. My milk is gone. Oh, I don't know what happened to your hat. I think it's because you're wearing your fancy clothes, Panda. Maybe if you take a shower in this bedroom shower, it'll come back. Go take a shower before you take a sleep. See if we can get your hat back. Simon is friends with Tyler. That's good. Chief. We're just gonna watch Chris in the shower. He's having a hard time. Look. There we go. Your hat's back. It's because you were wearing your fancy clothes. All right, Simon's. Why are you sleeping there, Simon? You need to sleep uh, down here. Ask to lie down. Tyler. No, not you. Not you, Chris. Simon. Lie here as a bat. Why not, I guess. What harm can it do? Fill bowl. Ask to lie down. Tyler. And then you sleep. 
Woohoo with Shania. Are you crazy? Claim. No one else wants to sleep in the coffin, Simon. I would hope that Brez is my dog that I've had for 15 years. He's, he's practicing his scary fucking vampires. He does not want to go to bed in his nice bed. You told him to, but he said no. Oh, look. Jack X here to play with the dog. <laughs> with Shane. <laughs> you just missed him woohooing with Shane. He took Shane to... Everybody's coming to play with the dog. He took Shane to a fancy lighthouse. Cat just became friends with Tyler as well. Have you finished that book, Cat? I swear to God, if you're down here and you haven't finished that book yet... I'm going to lose my shit. Oh, no, you did. Okay, come on. Come on. Outside. Let's go. Outside. Where's the mailbox? Here we go. Cat. Come here. Self-publish. Tigers don't take naps. What? That's not what we were writing. That's not what we were writing at all. Right? Resume riding the sick horses. Oh my god, on the road to fame. Sims now have the ability to become celebrities. Okay, what do we do? She self-published a book. That's fine. Royalties report. The boy who died. Six dollars. Tigers don't take naps. Four dollars. Nice. Um, we found the lighthouse. <laughs> oh yeah, it's um yeah it's it's a it's a thing. Okay. Shania, what are you doing? You're meant to be like... He still hates him. It's just really weird. He's like into him. They're lovebirds, but he also hates him. So there's that. We're having a healthy sex life. Oh, okay. You want to... You just want to be rich. Do you have a job? What do you even have to do here? Check open editions. Can you do that? Do push-ups. Doesn't. What does this do? I don't know how you do. I am an actor. <laughs> Enemies with benefits. I'll, I'll do what I want. My, what the, <laughs> all these abbreviations. Use the. How do you do? You use the phone? Let's see. Volunteer. Moving house. Take a vacation. Uh, Simstagram story, send an energized text, work, cancel gig, invite over director and co-stars, find a job. Does that work? Oh no, that's that's going to be an, uh, an actual other job, isn't it? I feel like that's not what we wanted. An actor. I thought actor was another whack RuPaul abbreviation or something. No, we don't want this. We've got a job. Ellie just became friends with Tyler. Everybody's befriending the dog. Where are you? Where's your job thing? Hire a new agency. Cancel gig. Okay. Did we have a gig? Table. Pet obsessions. Okay. Can we get a gig now that we don't know? We check for gigs. Okay, good. Looks like Bema and Bechilo. Okay. Shanye, do you want. Preclinical pharmaceuticals. You need comedy for that. Do you want Vladishaus hardware? Which you need handiness for. Making music, which you need guitar for. Or salty suds, which you need charisma for. Salty suds? I feel like it's salty suds. Salty suds. We need to get you to Charisma. How does this even work though? Audition is Monday at 12 p.m. That's tomorrow. The gig is Tuesday at 7 p.m. Okay, listen. How many Charisma do we have right now? One. We need to get another Charisma immediately. Immediately. Thankfully, there's a shit ton of mirrors in this house. Don't know why there's a shit ton of mirrors in this house, but we don't like to act, ask those questions. Practice acting. Go on. Go for it. That's bound to be charisma, right? You have to have the skills upped by the addition. Okay, so we've got to have this upped by tomorrow. 
Go for it, Shanye. Right. Malax is... <sighs> he needs to practice his guitar, I guess. Where's his fame level at? Theme level one. With a little bit of luck and perfect timing, your social media status update has intrigued the world. You've gained 25 followers. You now have 212 followers in total. You probably need to do a Instagram story. And you probably need to uh, update your social media status. You're a one star celebrity. You haven't gone any farther than that yet. So let's just go write songs and sing them. <laughs> Skills. Um practice your guitar man you gained another 20 followers good job oh she's almost finished her book look at this look at this learning triage we have going on here reach writing level four you can i write poems cat And you finish writing the book about the sick horses. Which is good. Now you can come downstairs and self-publish the book about the sick horses. Good job. And then you can have a nap. Because you badly need a nap. Can't remember which bedroom was yours. Gonna go for this one with all the mess in it. Poems about dead horses. Listen, you could have a brand. Your brand could be dead. Pandas walk. Always just acting level two that was not really what we wanted to do so that was a total waste of time um anyway practice speech <laughs> what is christopher doing christopher is listening to malak watching malak's and he's going to chat with cat just gonna be a general good guy which is on brand have three friends who is his two friends right now probably elliot Brant? Oh. It's gonna make him friends with Chris. Well, Chris and Chris are gonna be friends. Uh, friendly. More choices. Discuss world peace. Discuss interests. Congratulations, Cat of Self published another book. Shani, what are you doing? Where are you going? What happened here? What is this? Are you just eating Fruit Loops? You have a job tomorrow and you're sitting eating Fruit Loops. Oh my god, Shanye. I mean, fine, I guess, eat Fruit Loops. Who cares, right? Who cares about your future? This is tragic. This is Jojo's mac and cheese that she was probably halfway through eating when we evicted her the fuck out of the house. <laughs> it's fine. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> we made a third we made a third sub sim house because we had olivia and arlie to add in and then um, we moved them all into this big yellow castle in the middle so now we've got murder house suburban dreams and the big yellow castle and we moved jojo in there as well because she wants to have babies so now there is a bit of space for her to have babies that's what we did shanya just gonna just gonna finish off her mac and cheese Move me in with the birds. No, you're staying in Murder House. You are 100% staying in Murder House. With the vampires and the gays and the mischief makers. <laughs> that's, that's, that's. Poor cat is stuck in here. I feel really bad for cat. Because she's just stuck in here with all these crazy people. Yeah, we had to do some shuffling. Look, we still got the crib. Which now just looks even more creepy because Joe's not here. Just super creepy. I'm going to get one of you guys pregnant and it's going to be like three men and a little baby except just three wackos and a baby. <laughs> One's a normal person. I like how the gays were looped into the vampires and scoundrels stop oppressing us. <laughs> oh my god. doing pretty well listen where's shanya can, shanya can you get your butt back up here please i am trying i am trying try to calm self down because you're playful oh my gosh 
I vote me for fatherhood. <laughs> Same as the dad. <laughs> Listen, I think. Oh. Ah. Oh. One of these Sims. <laughs> One of these Sims, right? Should be our mystery hunter thing person, right? And they should go to Strangerville and they should bring all the strange shit from Strangerville back to the house. That's what I think. We're all gay in this place. Listen, to be honest, it's like 9020. 9020? Yep. 9020. I can count. <laughs> I'm the only straight in the village. <laughs> Oh my god. They all love this dog, by the way. Tyler is like the most spoiled dog. <laughs> Who's this guy? Congratulations on landing that sweet job. It's gonna be great for you. It's not gonna be great for you if you don't stop dicking around. What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Drink with desperation. Drink with desperation. I mean, I feel you, Shania, but seriously. You've just eaten a whole bowl of Fruit Loops, a whole bowl of mac and cheese, and all I'm asking you to do is learn one charisma point. <laughs> I'm not asking for miracles here, Shanye. Just one goddamn charisma point. Oh, someone's calling Simon. Caleb, Caleb would like to come over and hang out. Is that okay? We all know what Caleb wants. We all know what Caleb really wants. With Shania Thursday for the Vampire Day, he's gonna have to get in line. <laughs> Shania, where have you gone now? Ah, oh, you're going to bed, right? Fine, fine, go to bed. See if I care. Elliot, who's calling Elliot? Jackson, hey Elliot, we'd love to have you join Cub Club Cosplay. What do you think? I think Elliot would love to join Cub Club Cosplay. Welcome to Club Cosplay. I'm happy that you've decided to join our club. We're having a club gathering and would love for you to attend. I'll be right there. <laughs> I don't know what Club Cosplay is, but we are going to find out. It's fine, you're a cosplayer now. Ringo! Hello! Ringo, we have another favour to ask. <laughs> because we always have favours to ask. It's a cosplay. <laughs> this milkstick is cougar milk. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Just the usual. The usual stuff. Alright, so your cosplay group meet at a dog park. Interesting choice of venue, but okay. That's, and there, there's, um, okay, so what do we do in this club? No particular good things, no particular bad things. So I guess we just, oh, you're old. You need to pee. So I guess you can go in there and use the bathroom. Are they furries? <laughs> Jesus, okay, grass. Let me slide in on that. Keisha. Where? Who? Like you should de la Cruz. Okay. Okay. Lakeisha de la Cruz. She's an adult, so we'll allow it. Uh, clubs, what can you do? Convince leader to step down? Jesus, you could just cause anarchy in here. Discuss leadership feelings, resign from the club, talk about talk about the club. Tell us what this club is about. We just joined. Discuss her feelings. Is she the leader? She is the leader. You just, you want to bang the leader. She can de <laughs> deliver his piece. Oh my god. Ellie's been drinking, you guys, in case that wasn't obvious. Um, cosplays for nerds. Are they furries? They soon will be. Who's this? Who's this little shit? It's sausage. Is he going bald? Does sausage have like a balding spot? Oh, that's tragic. That's tragic at your age. Anyway, if I can get a milk, I'll get the leader. Listen, I am still, I am, it's gonna be like his unwritten lifetime want. I thought that was Brant there for a second and I was like, wow, wow, that's a, it's his like unwritten lifetime want. I've done that, they're going to the cat park. Okay, 
that he's gonna resurrect his dead love. I've just decided. It doesn't matter who he's dating or whatever. It's gonna be like his thing. It's gonna be like his thing. And he's gonna try and get her back. Ringal! <laughs> Payday, yay! <laughs> Thank you very much for this sub, Ringal. We moved you. We moved you out of Murder House into... I'm not really sure how I feel about Club Club... What did she say? Sorry, what did she say? I'm not really sure how I feel about club, club cosplay. It's really hard to say. Do you think people like where it's headed? I don't freaking know where it's headed, though. Because it's, like no, it's got no things. <laughs> what do you do in this club? What do, you, what do you do? View clubs. Okay, what does that mean? Yes, we moved you out of Murder House. Because... We were gonna add Simon's dog in, right? Uh, offer her a rose. Go on, Mr. Freaking Romance. Cub cosplay. You've already joined it. You can't count. Okay, whatever. Um, oh. Look at me laying it on hard and fast. Me. Just <laughs> you kicked me out for a dog. <laughs> That came out wrong. <laughs> Trying to start a new room. <laughs> Justice for Joe. <laughs> Listen, I can explain. That came out wrong. <laughs> that came out so wrong. It's not that we kicked you out for the dog. <laughs> we could have added the dog anyway. But if we added the dog, that was going to be the last slot that we had in that house. Which means Jojo would not have been able to have babies, right? Which means we wouldn't have been able to do anything with her lifetime once. So, <laughs> people like my dog quality. Oh my god, we replaced one dog with the <laughs> Get his friend to leave to forget the butt you made. He deserves it for that. That was rough. Anyway. So, what we did, Joe, so that you can have kids and potentially more than one kid, we have moved you into a big yellow castle in the middle of the the line of houses with Olivia. Okay? <laughs> Olivia and Arle are going to join you in the big yellow castle. And Joe and uh, Jess. <laughs> Where you can have babies to your heart's content. And leave murder house to murder house. You even left your, your half-eaten dish of mac and cheese on the table. Can I just build this house? Listen. Listen. The big yellow castle is beautiful. <laughs> this is... This is so cold. <laughs> the big yellow castle. Witty, it, I'm describing it badly, just like I described how we kicked you out badly. <laughs> It's more like a um, Victorian, but it's like a muted yellow color. It's really nice, actually. It's the nicest one. It's a really cool castle. You'd like it. It is. It's, it's lovely. It's way better than all the other options. Uh, <laughs> you guys are killing me. Can you stop? I can't breathe. Ask her a risky question. Look, look bathroom's wife is here. Bathroom got married today. <laughs> Just, you know, randomly. Um, ask her if she's single. She might not even be single. One evening and everything goes wrong. Yeah, bathroom got married. <laughs> Anna was here for like an hour of the stream. Um, <laughs> Ship and Potato aged up and changed their whole outfits and are hanging out with a whole new crowd and it's weird. Uh, that guy Thorn, Bailey Thorn, still an asshole. That didn't change. He's in a really bad mood now. Did he just get his ass handed to him? Did he just get rejected? I don't even know. Because I wasn't paying attention. He's gonna just go grill some baked potatoes because that's what's gonna make him feel better. I go out for a few hours and then come home to this. Yeah, oh. <laughs> it was so funny. She narrated, dictated the whole of our Sims lives. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, she she did. She made the decisions for the first hour. <laughs> then Beth got married. Uh, we moved you out of murder house. We made a dog. It's we made uh, Liv's cat. <laughs> and um, now we're here. Now we're here messing up Elliot's life. 
How did the baked potatoes get on the grill before he's even got to the grill? Weird. Anyway. So yeah, you can check that out in the VOD. But, um... <laughs> His, his his doll died as well, which we discovered while we were getting married. And, um... <laughs> like five minutes. <laughs> and then gets over it. Oh, yeah. But the favour we need to ask you, Rin, now that we've explained how we kicked you out uh, in favour of a dog and all of that, is we would like you to build us a trailer park. <laughs> a huge, grungy, crappy crappy as you can make it look chip even guys what okay hold the phone hold the phone on the trailer park we're gonna come back to the trailer park we're gonna come back to elliot eating a whole plate of baked potatoes by himself which is tragic <laughs> y'all saw right y'all saw that on the when we were in the romance festival right chip was there with lucas and he looked different i even took my, my milk time so i'm gonna eat this whole plate of baked potatoes and nobody can stop me we have no idea how she died she didn't like us that much we were just kind of her toy boy uh also chip is playing chess with your wife in the dog park at eight o'clock at night so bathroom i don't know if you want to look into that or whatever but that's what the situation is did you look at your face <laughs> but no right he had he looked chip looked different his hair was kind of gray and he was wearing glasses and a weird hat i took a picture would y'all like to see the picture <laughs> let me find the picture of chip that we took where is it okay here it is ta-da can we see we can't see this because it's on freaking game capture let me just cancel the game capture there we go okay so this was what we saw <laughs> at the love festival chip and, and lucas lucas given some intense eyes here and this is chip <laughs> definitely aged up right but you guys here it says he's a young adult it says he's a young adult and he's back in the bear suit what the fuck is going on <laughs> you mentioned necromancy once and you get you get banned but you can say that yeah she changed too i have no idea that's super weird. Potato lives like there. That's literally Potato's house. Who's this? Let's Lucas. Look, he's still young too. And JD, JD Jones. <laughs> Life crisis. Maybe they were just having an off day. He just was having a really rough day. This is Potato's house over here. But anyway, right, we're gonna eat a whole plate of baked potatoes, I guess. Um, yeah, Chip's playing Chip's playing chess with your wife in the park. Um, what, do you know Newcastle, Newcastle, Newcrest? The very bottom left of Newcrest, there's a huge lot, like a massive one. In the very bottom corner of Newcrest. So here's what we're going to do with the trailer park. Oh, look, bathroom cam to see her in the park. And totally just diss Chip. Sorry. Um, build a trailer park in Newcastle. What's it called? New Crest. It's New Crest, right? I think it is. Anyway. So here she is. Did she just brush us off before? Are we in a better mood now? We've had some baked potatoes. She kind of likes us. Smooth recovery. Oh, yeah. You fucked it up, man. You fucked it up. Here's the thing. So we're thinking that when... Uh, well, well, welcome, welcome. We're thinking that when, if a sub, if someone's sub runs out and they don't renew it or they don't want to renew it or whatever, I don't want to like just delete them. But at the same time, I want to keep manage the numbers of sub sims so the people that are actively sub subbed get actively played on our Friday evening streams. So what I'm thinking is, we make a giant trailer park 
full of crappy trailers. <laughs> and if someone's sub runs out and stays run out for like more than a, a week or two weeks or whatever, you know, if it's if it's out and you know not being resubbed or whatever, then uh, we will move them into the trailer park. <laughs> so they're still technically there, and they can hang out till um, you know. We work it out till till they can till they resub or whatever. And if they don't resub, they can stay there and we will use them for other ends. And it just means that they still get to be there because they've supported the stream. So they're still there. They'll still be in the town. They'll still be there for like Simon's weird, wacky sex adventures and, um, <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. So we can still use them for all those things. But it means also that at the same time, the people that have active subs are getting the active time spent developing them. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Anyway, we now also have three sub sim houses, which is what, when I was like, we need to sort of work out how we're going to manage this in the long term. <laughs> but that's what I was thinking. Also, bathroom. Bathroom bought us at Strangerville, so you can go wild with all of the grungy stuff. And it's all good. It's going to be delicious. Oh my gosh, Sam Jones is here. Fuse is here. What are you doing, Sam Jones? Fuse, just be careful with that man. Your 15 minutes of fame are rapidly coming to an end. Tick, tick, Elliot. Hey, why is Savani Sarvanashian giving us shit? Who is she? And why is she just giving us shit for it? Also, can someone please bath April again? This dog is yet again filthy. Who's that? Okay, that's this guy. Elliot, you are not having a fun time. Who's that kid? Sausage? What is he wearing? Why is Sausage walking down the middle of town in a bathrobe? Wasn't he here a minute ago in a completely different outfit? What the hell is going on? I am certain it was him. I was here literally a minute ago. Oh, just anyway, okay. Uh, can you go home, Elliot? I don't know what this weird club is. I don't know what they do. They don't have any actual, like, activities, so... Okay. I'm just part of this club. <laughs> just... Just walking down the street in a dressing gown. What is Sam doing? Sam talking to people alarms me. Amanda Panda is in the park at 11 o'clock at night and like she walks in and everybody just leaves that's just rude okay bye everyone literally everyone is leaving sam don't follow those people home please don't follow those people home <sighs> okay or do it's fine lucas munch is still here nope he's gone where are we where are you what are you doing you just you just gonna go home, Elliot? Maybe. Anyway. So yeah, you um you missed some shit today, right? It was yeah. Someday, someday we're gonna have a completely calm, completely normal sub sim night where nothing insane happens. And things don't go mental all the time. One of these days. So, homework for next week is we have to work out how we raise someone from the dead. Also, we have to work out, I think we need to have her gravestone <laughs> to do that. So how would we go about doing that? If we don't know where she's buried, <laughs> or how she died, or where she died, do we just have to search the whole world till we find it? I just, can we call her? Can you call a dead person? Love. No, you can't call a dead person. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Right, Shanye, you have got work like immediately. What are you doing? Come on, upstairs, upstairs. Go toilet. Oh, why is everything in here broken? You have to fix it, Shanye. Come on, you can do this. You have to fix it so that you can use it and so that the rest of the house can use it. Fitness level two, Panda. Why is there water under the closet? Simon, what have you done? 
Did Caleb come over, by the way? I thought he said he was coming over for a booty call. Did they ever show up? Did we just bail to go to a freaking cosplay party? Okay, now you can use this. And then you can use that. Right? Good. Then, then you'll be able to do that. Why me? Because you are the only one that has ever used that closet for nefarious ends, Simon. That is why you. I feel like it's a just call. Uh, Malax, he's sleeping. Okay, he's sleeping. He's had a rough day, you guys. He's had a rough day. Tyler's little butt going down the stairs is brilliant. Okay. Oh, what was that? Was that Simon again? He has got to stop doing that bat shit all over the place. Look, practice speech. You can do this. Come on. You guys are going to get one more charisma point. Right. You have to make someone hate you. Make a prank phone call. Who are we going to prank? Rihanna person? Rina person? You actually have to, there you go, okay, you're doing something now. Anyway. You little stinker. Do you think I was born yesterday? I'm <laughs> not nearly dumb enough to fall for your stupid prank. Oh, sorry, Chris. She called you a little stinker, though, which has got to be worth it. It's got to be worth it. <laughs> Christopher, could you fix a sink? Simon, you're going to come here and you're going to clean this mess up. Because I know this is your fault. I just know it. You just... Oh. Simon. Um. What is he doing in the closet? Crying in the closet. Christopher. Oh, no. Guys, he peed himself. <laughs> and now he's crying in the closet. And now Simon's like, I can't get in the closet. No. Tragic. Sorry, Christopher. It was broken. Can you fix it though? <laughs> and you can shower. Also, clean the shower because that's disgusting. Come on, how are you going? You're almost there, buddy. You're almost there. You did it. Oh, look, Simon's cleaning the shower for you. Well, no. He half cleaned the shower, I guess. We'll just let Chris finish that off. He don't like you. Panda doesn't like Simon. You just gonna stand and stare at each other, boys? Okay, then. They are gonna stand and stare at each other. Just while Christopher cleans the bathtub. What are you eating? Applesauce? Go on your applesauce. Look, still here. Joe's mac and cheese has still not been finished. You're just thinking, this is healthy, right? <laughs> this has got fruits and vegetables in it. Where's Tyler? What are you doing out here, buddy? He's also disgusting, so we need to clean him. Did that, did he just, did you vampire again? Look, at least you're cleaning up. That's good. Um, more choices. Give Tyler a bath, please. Thank you. You're almost there, Shania. You can do this. You've got this. You're going to get the job. Shania gets rejected hard. I'm going to take it personally. To sleep. Uh, what's needed? Yeah, you're fine. You are fine. You just need to make more friends. 
So you're going to call, chat with, is there someone semi-decent you can chat with? Oh, Lakeisha, you're going to steal Elliot's girl from right under his nose. Oh, sorry, she's sleeping. It's six o'clock in the morning. Christopher, don't call people at six o'clock in the morning. You did it. You did it, Sean Yang. You're the best. Now you can go and have some food. Oh, what was that? Do you guys not like each other? You can finish off Joe. Oh, it's spoiled, is it? I love that you'd have eaten it anyway. Oh, no, it's alright. It's not spoiled. Okay. You can come and eat that up. Finish that off. Your interview, right, is in, like, soon. Audition, right? Audition at the Salty Suds commercial starts at 12 p.m. Monday. Okay, charisma level two. We did that. So we just need to be in a good mood by noon. So we need a nap. We need a nap stat. You're going to sleep in uh, Simon's old bed. Till we get to noon. None of these people have jobs, by the way. Shania is the only one with a job. Pretty sure. Dastardly. He's thinking about graves. <laughs> Do you know anything about graves? Do you happen to know where Brianna Cho's grave is? <laughs> because I have a feeling we might need to know that if we intend on resurrecting her at some point. So yeah, we need a huge trailer park, Jojo. Panda is dastardly. He's got the dastardly walk. I love all these fairy lights as if that offsets the horror. The subtle horror that is this house. And the thing is, it looks really nice downstairs. <laughs> like, it's really... Like, this floor is lovely. Is he just making some... Oh, the fridge is broken now. God... Damn it, who's breaking everything? Brant Heckling says, Hey Christopher, let's experience more of a unique culture than the city provides. I hear there's an opera tonight around it. Want to go? Christopher is gonna go to the opera with Brant. On Brand. <laughs> anyway, he's also gonna burn his breakfast first. Where's Sean Yang? He leveled up his cooking. It is 11 a.m. You need to get out of bed. Stop sleeping. Get up immediately. I don't know who made that noise, but it better not be you. Just come and watch some TV. You've got to cheer up, and you've got to cheer up in 40 minutes. Do you have to go with him to the audition? How does this work? There, no, you're in a good mood. Can you talk to Christopher, like, from way over there? Is that gonna work? Um, today's meal has been delivered. What the heck did we get in the meal? Friendly. Um, brighten his day, I guess. Oh, oh bills. Cool 7,600 pounds of bills. That's what we pay to go to, to, to live here. Oh, no, look. Go to audition. Sorry, Chris. Talk to you later. Won't talk to you later because you're going to be out at the opera with Brant later. He's a single man now, don't you know? Brant is a single man. I had literally, until this very moment, forgot that we divorced them. So Brant's technically a single man, and of all the sims, of all the sims <laughs> available, decided to call Christopher and be like, do you want to go to the opera with me? <laughs> do you know what though? It's probably because, <laughs> it's probably because he knows Christopher so well, because Christopher is always in the police station complaining <laughs> about local youths. So you know, <laughs> that's probably why. So I, uh, I know you dislike hooligan news. 
I too dislike hooligan youths. <laughs> Do you want to go see an opera? <laughs> oh man. It's just so good. <laughs> oh no, Tyler! That's not where you do that. Where's Simon? Come here. Ask to go potty outside, please. What is this? Lecture about- Oh no, he- sorry, he didn't pee. He just was playing in the dirty puddle. Puddle? <laughs> puddle. <laughs> Simon, stop speaking to your dog through a window. Did you just bat for him to go around? No, never mind. What the heck, Simon? Goddamn weirdo. <laughs> Where is Shania? I want to know if he gets this edition or not. Can we pay our bills? Oh no, you guys. <laughs> Plot twist. Plot twist in Murder House. Are you guys ready for this? Or did I? You just, you just bat for him to the mailbox as well. You're also like really hungry. Murder House now has two thousand pounds simoleons to their name, so they have until the next dose of bills to <laughs> arrive to earn like ten grand. Good luck. Good luck, because none of y'all have jobs. <laughs> Cat is the only one working. Cat and Shanye. Oh lord, that's. Delicious. Um, Malax, you'd want to start earning... Oh, you do not like... Simon does not like Malax at all. He's thinking about how much he loves dogs. <laughs> Where are you going? Simon, god damn. Where did he even go? Audition passed. Congratulations, Shanye. You've acquired the role of pirate spokesman. The placement algorithm successfully predicted that you were naturally adept at passing as an unkept, violent human with barely functional grasp of language. Good job, Shanye. <laughs> an, <laughs> an unkept, violent human with barely functional grasp of language. So that's good. I'm trying to keep a roof over your head. I think you just bat formed upstairs, possibly. But anyway, you got the job, so that's good, I guess. <laughs> uh, so congratulations, Shanya, you got a job. You now have the gig at 7 p.m. tomorrow. You have to develop your acting skills and develop your charisma skills. Oh God, we have one day to do all that. That we can save for next week. 